Hey everyone, it's Brie and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints Color Kits team. And I am working with the April 2022 Color Kit and I'm gonna quickly go through everything with y'all today. Um, so the first color that we get is a Keep Palm Colorings and it's this really, really pretty green. And then we do get some um, paint pots. So this is a Shimmers and this one I believe is called Iced Lavender. Is that that one? Yes, that's that one is Ice Lavender. And then this next one is a, gosh, I'm sorry, my screen is so blue. This one is the new one. This one is called It's a Boy Inklings, and you just add water to that to get it activated. This is a Shimmers in Lilac Blossom. It's a really pretty purple. And then the last color that we get is a Shimmers in Colder Than Ice, and it's this gorgeous blue. Now, um, it does have all like the sparkle down at the bottom, so you just need to get it going and then if you need to add a little bit of liquid I just always spray water so we also get the sequin mix we also get these exclusive dots which are so fun and then we got this cut file now what I did is I actually I believe I duplicated the whole thing maybe once uh, I can't remember how many flowers come in the original cut file but I duplicated a few of them so that I could um, change the sizes. Now I knew immediately that I wanted to turn one of these flowers into a shaker, so that's why I made it larger, but then I also made some smaller so that I could create some interest on my page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all four of the paint pots that come in the color kits and or color kit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and smush each flower into each paint. Now you can paint these um, flowers uh, you know any way that you want I do like the smushing technique I like the look that it gives and then I can also feel free to add or take away any color by using my paintbrush and dipping it into the pots now the shimmers are the original ones so they already come with liquid but like I said before the inklings you do have to spray water to get it activated and get that um, color moving so what I'm doing is I'm just smushing each floral into each of the colors and then adding a bit here and there. The ice lavender is super, super shimmery. Um, there's not too much pigment into it or in it. So I did actually add several different coats uh, from each of the colors after the floral pieces dried. I just wanted to get um, them a little bit darker. But I do like the fact that the ice lavender is so light because you can add so much shimmer and not worry about it having too much much color. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just letting those colors run and blend, dipping and smushing and um, really adding color to my cardstock. So I took the Keep Palm and I just took a scrap piece of that same cardstock that I used to cut the floral pieces out. I'm going to set this aside to dry. Um, I did want some interest so I do do some splatters. I do add some water just to create some water lines because uh, I am just going to fussy cut some leaves out from this scrap piece of paper. I just wanted to pull in that green and add um, some leaves. So you can see me here just adding splatters and dipping the end of my um, nozzle into you know my onto the paper just to create a little bit of extra interest you could let this dry and add, add more and splatter that way it doesn't automatically get soaked into the cardstock um, however you want to do it okay so I took a piece of thick white cardstock I already prepped it with gesso off camera and then I'm going to start with that new it's a boy inklings I really wanted to focus on this new color this blue is so pretty so I just wanted to create just a little bit of a background nothing too crazy but I did want something for my flowers to sit on top of I didn't want to add too much because I did use the same color to paint my flowers so I didn't want everything to blend in too much but I did want a little something something so I added some water I just let the color run I am going to go in and add thick chunks of that iced lavender sh uh, shimmers you can see here as soon as I add it to the blue paint it, it kind of just um, spreads a little bit but doesn't blend too much so you can really tell where I add it and then when I show you an up close shot of the actual background once it's dry you'll see all that gorgeous shimmer um, and all that just shine. It's so, so pretty. The shimmers are so pretty and so like glitzy looking. I just love it. Um, so yeah, nothing too crazy. Just adding some of that It's a Boy and more of the uh, iced lavender splatters. I am going to add a little bit of the lilac blossom towards the end just to get more pops of that purple uh, 
yeah so here I am just kind of seeing where I'm going to put my flowers and if I have enough paint down and, I'm, and if I'm happy with it so I did want to pull in a little bit more color out so that's why I'm going back in with some more splatters and then this is also where I pull in that lilac blossom just to pull in more of that purple now as soon as I saw this color kit I knew right away that it would match oh here real quick look how shiny and pretty that background is but like I was saying I knew um right away that this color kit would match the oh gosh why did oh bloom street collection from Paige evans now this is an older collection i have not used a lot of my Paige evans stash lately i'm as you know i love Paige evans so i hoard all of her stuff um but i really wanted to pull this collection out because it's so pretty and it matches so nicely so I took that large floral piece that I had every intention of turning into a shaker. I've adhered a piece of acetate um, on the back of it to create my window. And then I'm going around the perimeter with some narrow foam strips um, so it can hold my sequins. And then I'm just going to pour in almost the entire bag of the sequins that come in the kit. And it is such a pretty mix. I love that they have clear seed beads in there and um, it just really makes it shake and sound so nice. And it, I don't know, it's just such a good mix. So I back all of my shakers or mostly probably like 97% of my shakers with vellum, especially when I do mixed media backgrounds. That way you could actually see what's behind my shaker and it might, it doesn't compete with um, any pattern paper behind it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take all of those floral cut file pieces that I had painted previously. And like I said, I did add a second coat of color to all of the florals and I'm just rearranging them how I think I want them. Now I originally had a different photo and then I decided to switch it out for this little photo of uh, my youngest son, Elijah. He's just so cute. I think he was concentrating on something and I just thought it was such a cute photo for this layout. So I've got my fussy cut leaves that I just hand cut from that piece of paper that I sprayed and I've kind of popped them up. I've added a little white gel um, line down the middle of each one and I'm going to go ahead and, and ah, go ahead and adhere each of the floral pieces down. Um, I'm only adding glue to the centers that way the edges of the florals can pop up and add some texture and dimension and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere the leaves just here and there. Like I said I did fold them up just to give them more interest and uh, just yeah more dimension all that. So now I'm just going to quickly embellish using, like I said, the Bloom Street collection. I'm going to map my photo a couple times with this piece of paper and then with this um, like pink and cotton candy, like blue kind of uh, watercolor uh, six by six pattern paper scrap. I'm going to pop up my photo with some foam tape as always, you know, me and my foam tape. Uh, let's see what else do I do? Uh, I'm just going through the embellishments. I am going to pull in the dots. That's kind of how I set the basis or the base for a lot of my embellishment clusters is starting with the dots. I'll put those down, tuck those in, add some tangled thread, and then add uh, embellishments from there. So I've got my three down. I've got one by my shaker, one by my photo, and then one up at the top left on um, one of the florals. And I, let's see. Yeah, so I've got my thread I'm gonna add a couple more flowers and that's it I love how this layout turned out I love that little shaker that sequin mix is so fun the colors are just perfect for spring I love spring I'm so ready for summer um, yeah so I like how bright and happy these uh, colors in this kit um, are so thank you so much for watching commenting and subscribing don't forget to add my name to the notes comment section of all your shimmers paints orders and you'll receive a free gift but thanks again and i'll see you in my next one bye